Okay. So I'm here tonight to ask the City Council to stay in their lane and do nothing. Despite the hurt caused recently over the legal nonconforming decision, the City Council and staff are still in an exceptional position to deliver the second best gift this holiday season with exactly zero effort or cutting across traffic. What could be better? People not directly affected by the new act believe that May 1st is the date that we all dread. For us in the legal nonconforming, the actual date is January 15th, the day when the city licensing come due. This already punitive fee is set to increase to $2,500 per door. Now, we do realize it's not yet in the bylaw and there are administrative hurdles. For the context sake, let's assure, sorry, but for context sake, Let's assume this happens. On the left is the licensing fee per month if we're forced to close May 1st. $625 per month is what a single STR would pay next year. Let's contrast that with the Empress, which pays a fee of $2,480 for their entire accommodation. That works out to be 47 cents per door per month. Now, Certain councillors here have indicated that when the city petitioned the government for more power to regulate STRs, it was looking for a phase-out solution. Increasing, increasing the fees would signal to us that the city wasn't looking for a phase-out, but a complete wipeout. We really hope that that wasn't the case. So as I said before, the second best gift is to do nothing and defer the increase. The very best gift, however, is to prorate licensing fees for 2024 and to align with the provincial's new act. And the reason to support this here are pretty basic. High costs, sorry, high costs will be bad for tourism-based businesses. Critical resources will be lost during those most valuable months. The new high fees will be bad for visitors, but it will be good for hotels, for obvious reasons. This will be bad for enforcement, res enforcement revenue. We surveyed our members and those responded indicated that more than 90% won't renew these fees uh, if they are raised. An increase in fees would be bad for hosts and bad for their employees. And all in all, and all the service providers. But this is still just okay for renters. Surveyed owners indicated that long-term rentals just isn't for them. Long-term renting is just not for them. The long legal non-conforming units aren't affordable rental stock. However, if licensing gets prorated, it will be good for tourism, good for visitors, and good for enforcement, good and good for providers, and it's still okay for, for renters. The time is ticking on this situation, and Christmas is coming. My family and I are losing sleep on this, and I wonder how many other people in this room can relate. Thank you, Ryan. Your time is up. Thank you. Thank you.